In this video, we'll be debugging how to figure out why your Shopify form isn't displaying on your store. Before I dive into it, I want to say that if you're looking for a Shopify theme built to make your store more money, make sure you check out my very own theme, Conversion King. There's a link in the description below. So let's dive into the debugging now and I'll head to the Shopify dashboard. Now, the first thing we wanna make sure is that the app embed is enabled for the Shopify forms. So to do this, we'll head to online store on the left-hand side, should open up themes automatically, and I can see my currently published theme here. So I'll hit the customize button and this is gonna open up the Shopify theme editor. And so the way we make sure our app embed is enabled so if we head to the left hand side menu, so the furthest left hand here at the bottom, we should see a section called app embeds. If I click this here, we can see all the installed apps. Now this store only has the Shopify forms app installed and we can see it has been toggled on. You could also search for it here. If you just searched for forms, you can see it popping up. And you wanna make sure that this is toggled on. So it should be toggled to the right here. And to finalize those changes, you hit save in the top right here. So that's a very common way in which the forms are not displaying. Now let's go into some other debugging methods and we'll do so by exiting out of this in the top left. And let's open up the forms app itself. And so I can see I have one active form here and let's click into it. And there's a few settings we'll wanna check. First up, you just wanna make sure that it's active as you can easily turn it off and see how it's inactive. Or to go back to my dashboard here, I can see it is inactive and we can turn it on by just clicking this turn form on. Next up, I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to the behavior section of this page. And so this is gonna govern the behavior on when this pop-up displays. As there are some settings around devices, so it could be just on desktop or mobile, depending how you set it up. And it might not be displaying because you could be on the incorrect device. So I'll leave this as all devices here. Next up, you wanna check which pages it's supposed to display. By default, it should show in all pages, but there may be settings. So let's say I just got rid of all these checkboxes here and it's only gonna show up on the customer's page. So you wanna make sure that it's not filtering too much. So I'm gonna go and re-enable all of these. Next up, we wanna check the trigger. So this is gonna be when it displays. So it could be on first, page view, second page view, or third page view. And you also want to check the delay as maybe if it's too long, it's just going to take forever to show up. So you want to review these settings just to make sure that you're not over filtering here and that's preventing the pop-up from displaying. To finalize your changes, we'll just hit save at the top here. And if it's still not displaying, what I'm going to recommend you do is test it out in different browsers. So if you're using Google, head to Safari or even go to a new device. What I'd recommend is going into incognito mode as well in the browser. This is going to help block maybe different extensions you might be running in your browser. It's also going to reset the cache as sometimes with these pop-ups too, depending on your settings, it might only display for the first time a user gets to your site. Additionally, you want to disable a VPN if you have that enabled as well, as that can cause other issues too. So overall, you want to make sure that the app embed is enabled. Next, you want to make sure that there are no extra filtering settings that you've enabled for your form. And you want to make sure your form is active. Lastly, to test it out, you want to make sure you're using a different browser, specifically in incognito mode, as it's going to help block some of the other extensions and basically have a fresh load of your Shopify store. And if it's still not displaying, what's most likely happening is there's a conflict with other apps you may have installed on your store that are interfering with how the form is loaded. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including everything from your ad spend, cost goods sold, transaction fees, and much more. It aggregates everything in one place so you can make smarter business decisions as you have a true understanding of your store's profit. It syncs seamlessly with all your favorite ad platforms from Meta, which includes Facebook and Instagram, Google, Bing, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below that's going to bring you to the Shopify app listing directly. You can also search for it on the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check it out. Overall, this concludes the video here. I hope this helped debug why your Shopify form wasn't displaying. If it helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, 
leave a comment. Also, make sure you check out my very own Shopify theme, Conversion King. It's packed with 20 plus built-in conversion boosting features, saving you up to $1,944 a year on app subscriptions. It's designed to boost sales in any niche, and there's a full 60-day money-back guarantee. And again, there's a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.